Hello friends, and welcome to our third video tutorial of the day, as promised. Um, so I'll be showing you the bubble stitch today, or like puff stitch, um, it's got a few different names, but the main idea is that it just ends up looking like a little puff, and you have com complete control over how puffy it is, which is super fun. So, uh, got my, my regular tulip hook out. Um, the yarn that I'm using today is Twister Glitter. Um, this color is called Raindrops, and well, if you know anything about me, you know that green is my, my favorite color. And like this sort of teal green to like light blue to gray, it just, I, I fell in love with this. Um, I still have no idea what I'm planning on using the whole ball for, um, but it's going to have to be something spectacular because this, this yarn is probably one of the most beautiful yarns I've ever come across. The, this shot of silver through it. Like I'll try and do a little bit of a, just so you can see just how beautiful that is. Anyway, enough about me just and just endlessly gushing about how gorgeous the yarn is. Otherwise you'll be here all day. Um, we're here to learn a bubble stitch. So the way that a bubble stitch works is that you do your chains in multiples of two and then you add four on the end. So say you want to do 10, 10 bubbles or 10 pop, pops, pops, puffs, um, 10 bowls or 10 puffs, and then you do a chain of 20 and then you do plus four at the end. And as always, I have done my chain, but I've also filled them in with a single crochet at the start because it looks neater. And I'll, I will I will just say that forever. So I just have my stitch marker sitting in here holding that so we can get started. Now, one of the great things about the puff stitch, the bubble stitch, whatever you would like to call it, is that um, the size of the puff is down to you. Now, it was really important for me to show you this before we start um, the process of designing our own bags next week. Um, I'll have a chat to you in, in our next video about sort of all the ins and outs of what we're going to do. Um, but showing you this stitch in particular was really important to me um, because making my bags with a puff stitch is one of my favorite things. So I'll, next, next week, um, before we get started, I'll, I'll bring out a whole heap of, of the bags that I've already made. And you'll see that, you know, most of them are a combination of a waffle stitch, puff stitch. Um, I've got one with uh, the shell stitch that I showed you guys how to make last week. Um, so it's all really down to you. So this is the reason why I'm showing you all of these kind of really interesting textural stitches. Um, that are also quite solid still. That's because when you put them together to actually form the bag, um, it means that your bits and pieces don't fall out. Anyway, so let's get started. Um, so with, with my puff stitches, I normally like to do a puff of four to five. So as you will imagine, this will eat a lot of yarn. Um, and I like to do mine um, in a double crochet. So some people will do them in a half double, um, some people do them in a single. This That part is up to you, but I like to do it in a double just because I like sort of the longer looking puff. All right, so now let's start off with a chain of four. So it's one, two, three, four uh, basically counts as a double crochet and then we've got um, sort of a single stitch to kind of separate it out and you'll 
you know, because <laughs> I like to do a, a single stitch in between each puff just to give it a bit of definition. Um, some people won't do that just because they lack the way that it sort of gives it a little bit more of a crisscross texture. Um, I personally just like my puffs to look straight and like just little little lined up popcorns. Okay, so not in our first stitch. In our second one, we'll yarn over, pop through the first two chains, uh, the top of the single crochet there, yarn over and pull through once, okay? And now we're going to do that four more times because basically we're starting a double crochet but we're not finishing it. So one, two, three, three, four, and then last one is five. So because I've just done five, you'll see that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six hoops on my loops on my hook. And I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull through every single one of these babies and then finish it off with a double crochet. Oh, no, no, double crochet. Oh my God, a slip stitch. I'm going bonkers. But um, anyway. Let me just make a couple of these so you can kind of get the idea of where I'm going with this, okay? And then I will do one single crochet and then we skip a single crochet there. Now, and now we're going to do five double crochets again, but remember we're only half doing them. So we go, there's one, two, Three, four, and then our last one, five. And then we yarn over and pull through all six loops on the hook, and then yarn over once more so we can get that proper definition of the bubble. So you can see on either side, it's just like just a little textured puff stitch. It's just it's just so pretty. Um, yeah. Okay. So we just yarned over to close that one off. So we yarn over once, skip one there. Um, let's make one in our next stitch with three. Let's do three double crochets to make this next puff. So we go yarn over and pull through once. We keep those yarn, those loops on the hook. Then we'll go and do it twice. And we keep the loops on the hook. And then once more, pull through two. And then we yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. So you can see the size of that one a little bit smaller. Um, I've seen some people say that you can do sort of up to 11. Um, if you want to do that many, go for it. It's just going to absolutely eat your yarn. So let's skip one and let's do our next one with eight. Let's do our next one with eight. So, because I just want you to kind of get an idea of how it is with, you know, different amounts of stitches. So you'll see my ones with five, Five is my five is my personal preference, just because I like the size of it. Um, three, not so much. It's three is more nice for, I guess, like just a little bit of embellishment. But let's go for eight and um, see how that looks. Okay, so remember we skip one one stitch there, then we yarn over, pull through, pull through once, and then we yarn over, pull through pull through once for two stitches, three stitches, four stitches, five stitches, six stitches, 
you can kind of already see how how tight it is getting working into into this same um same same top of the stitch um six okay so seven oh it is getting rough if you want to do more i would suggest working with a purely acrylic yarn just for the stretch factor all right yarn over pull through two and then yarn over and pull through everyone on the hook and then just there we go and then there's an eight stitch puff stitch right there next to a three next to a couple of fives so let me just zoom in my camera and pull this over just to really show you the difference like there we go there's there's eight like there's one with three tiny there's one with five which i think in my personal opinion is nicely proportional um so you can like turn them turn them over to i guess the wrong side and then you can I, then you can see a lot more of the texture of how textured these stitches are um let me just actually i'll get out a darning needle just so that i can give you a better idea so like there's one that's the one that's one and then that's one so that is our puff stitch and then zoom back out sorry and then when you go to do the next row basically what the stitch that you're working into is just the top of the stitch below so the one where you yarned over and pulled through all of your multiple loops that's the stitch that you're working in so nice and simple nice and easy puff stitches very fun um definitely really nice as a border especially if you're going to do sort of something that's like only three to five stitches um worth of puff um otherwise just because in my opinion it ends up way too big like look at how much yarn that actually ate anyway sorry i'm, I'm just <laughs> i'm doing because i'm because it's not um it's not the way that i like it so i'm just i'm doing it i'm just looking at it thinking oh god i don't like the way that looks so i'm just gonna undo it so bear with me for a couple of minutes and i'm just gonna you know do a couple more of fives just so that you can get continue to get an idea of how this actually works and how this looks so i know that it's um it's important not to just be shown sort of once or twice or three times it's more important for you to see what i'm doing you know four five six times rewind the video do whatever you need to do so for our bags um, I will most likely be making it with puff stitch um, and I will explain why in our next video because the next video I'm going to explain um, everything you need um, sort of how we're going to be working working on the project so um, it's kind of kind of going to be designed as a crochet along so we'll do it in three parts over the course of three weeks and then five more through there you go and there you see four puff four four pretty perfect puff stitches even if i do say so myself I personally really like it. I love the texture. Um, it feels really interesting. So yeah, the puff stitch, nice and easy. And um, I hope you, hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. There you go, puff stitch. Maybe I'll see if I can pop this at a bit of an angle. My light 
It's like I'm just trying to get my light at the right angle so you can kind of see it a little bit better. There we go. That's that's a bit better. You can kind of see those puffs a little bit more. But this is this is more one that you're going to see. You'll see the texture of it, um, sort of in the sunlight, like literally just looking at it physically, like because it's very it's very two D. Unfortunately, um, looking at it through the camera, but when you're looking at it on your little swatch, you'll be like, right, that's what she's talking about. She's not insane. Okay, so the puff stitch. Um, make it any size you want between sort of three to ten stitches. Um, again, my preference of size is sort of the four, four or five stitches just because it's not too big and it's not too fussy at that point. Um, and you get a nice look of how the puff goes. Okay, so I will finish this video up now and then we'll do a quick run through on everything that we're going to need um, to work on these bags. Okay, look forward to chatting in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.